Good morning, everyone. How are you? I am happy that you are with me today, listening, watching, and learning. Welcome to our science class, where you experience a different journey of learning, a new learning that makes sense. Sit back and relax as I discuss to you Quarter 2, Module 7, Protection and Conservation of Ecosystem. Forest, coral reef, and mangrove swamps ecosystems need to be protected and conserved. We need to give importance to these ecosystems because they provide us with our needs. The ecosystem is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. Example of ecosystem are the tropical rainforest, coral reef, mangrove swamps. A tropical rainforest is simply an area where tall, mostly evergreen trees grow and with high amount of rainfall. Coral reef serves as habitat for many animals. They are breeding ground of marine life. They are composed of non-living components such as water and sand and living components such as fish, crustacean, mollusks, nidarian, sponges, and echinoderms. Mangrove swamp ecosystem is composed mostly of mangrove plants and animals like crustaceans and migratory bird. It is an important system that allows for the breeding of fishes and survival of other marine animals. It is also a part of the coastal and marine ecosystems. Today, tropical rainforest, coral reef, and mangrove swamps are disappearing from the face of the globe. Despite growing international concern, these are continuing to be destroyed. This destruction have a global impact through species extinction, the loss of important ecosystem services and resources. However, this destruction can be slowed, stopped, and in some cases, even reversed. We need to protect and conserve the Earth's resources. We need to give high value to our tropical rainforest, coral reef, and mangrove swamps. Here are some ways to protect and conserve these natural resources. Number one, habitual restoration. Number two, reforestation or replacing a forest. Number three, mangrove rehabilitation. Number four, wildlife conservation, which includes protecting a sanctuary where animals live. Number five, supporting projects of the government and non-government organization that protect tropical rainforests, coral reef, and mangrove swamps. Number six, joining organizations that conduct educational campaigns and give information on how to protect and conserve our ecosystem. Being responsible to the development and restoration of Earth's resources like the tropical rainforest, mangrove swamps, and coral reef is a key for the long-term benefit to mankind. Kids, 
that ends our lesson for today and continue answering the different activities in your module. I hope that you learn a lot in this discussion. Good luck and see you again in the next video lessons. I am your teacher, Sir Teddy Pagaduan, saying good luck, take care, because God loves us all.